Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Tuesday, February the 8th, 2022 Mystic Affirmations. So this is the energy of our relentlessly optimistic, positively positive, always looking forward into manifestation of our best possible life now using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and the ability to focus our intention to manifest better than we have today and to maintain that into a beautiful life to come. And as we use this energy, remember it is for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And with that, we'll go right into the energy of the reading. We have the Two of Swords and the Star card. Now, I'm aware this card showed up yesterday, but here it is again on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I shuffled, I've done another reading since, and there it is. <laughs> so it's meant to be here. Couple of days in the, in the energy of the star is amazing. It is the Aquarius Major Arcana. We have the Two of Swords telling you don't try to make everything uh, cut and dry. Everything's not linear. Uh, miraculous energy happens all the time. And if we are in the energy of manifestation, then we have to let go of the need for everything to make sense. Because the understanding of manifestation is to be in a place in your mind that anything is possible no matter what right so let go of the need for it to make sense because miracles rarely do that's why they're miracles and then we have the star card which is the miracle maker this is where you have the yes from the universe to have your soul's desire granted so your soul's wish being granted also ascension energy and as i said earlier the aquarius major arcana which we just had the new moon in aquarius so here we go breathing and let's see what's happening thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit Four of Cups, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sun, Moon and Rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, we have our three cards out. The second cut card was the Four of Cups. And that's the energy of being in a place of having the universe uh, give you something that may not m meet your understanding at the time doesn't mean it's the wrong thing. It just means you don't want to turn away something just because you don't at first recognize it, right? Vet everything before you turn away. The, you don't want to throw the baby out with bathwater, right? We want to keep all blessings. So here's the Eight of Cups. Now, here's another energy of the, the moving forward because the Eight of Cups is about everything that's all lined up. It's kind of like if you look at it, it looks like a runway. And it's literally everything that was an obstacle or that you needed to learn has been done. And now these are the completions of all those tasks. And you, you say yes from the universe. You may now proceed into the future here. So solid energy of the universe giving you a yes and letting you move forward. The empowerment energy of our manifestation cards here. I recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to feel empowered. Remember, the feeling of being empowered is all that you're ever going to get. You are the one in charge of receiving that. It's not going to, you know, there's no other measure other than how you feel. Do you feel empowered? Well, then you are empowered. If you do not and you've dismissed the energy of empowerment and you say, oh, well, I don't need to feel empowered. I'm successful anyway. Well, then you feel th that it, you already have just answered that question. You are feeling empowered because you just said, I'm always successful anyway. That's empowered. It's when you are in the energy of, I don't know if this is possible. And I don't know, you know, you start to feel like it's called the um, imposter syndrome. Okay. Feeling that. And I had that when I first started 
doing these readings, I was thought, well, I don't have enough experience for anybody to really think I'm, I'm qualified. And I, so then I set about the business of making myself feel qualified so that I didn't feel, because you, if you come into something like this or anything in your life and you've never done it before, you're going to feel like that. That's how everybody starts. But the empowerment comes with doing. So let yourself be in the energy of empowerment and accept it. It doesn't mean that you're being egotistical. It doesn't mean that you're being a, a narcissist or, or uh, cocky, right? You're, you're just claiming your ability and you believe in yourself and the universe. Support. This is a very important one. I surround myself with supportive people who believe in my dreams. I will tell you right now, I have no time to waste on people that don't believe in my gift or my abilities. I don't have any time for people who want to argue with me about this being uh, forbidden. These aren't the people in my life. The people in my life love me and support me because they believe in me and they are they are my tribe, right? This is that energy. Stick with the people who can help you and hold you together through the learning, through the, the support and energy, and you do the same as them. That's why I have the little the little vibe tribe thing where we do the the readings. There we go. It's up to you. You can't wait for someone else to give you permission. This is why we have the little groups because when you feel like it, and I was, I was all by myself until I met a bunch of people who helped me to understand that I wasn't alone in this, okay? And, and that's the whole thing is you will start to attract the people who vibrate on your frequency. It's up to you to get yourself to that frequency first, no matter what it is. I'm not talking about somebody having to be a tarot reader, whatever your thing is. It's just that an artist's life, say uh, somebody's, somebody's speaking out to me as an artist right now, so whoever you are, as an artist's life, only another artist can understand that your day is structured very different from the average person. Your work is structured very different, and it comes from you. So it's not something you have, you know, it's not something sitting outside of you. It's something you you're taking from within yourself and putting it out for the world. That's a very different way of working. And somebody who had, doesn't do that or can't understand it will not be an asset to you and may even hinder you by making you feel bad for not being like them. Crown chakra. They don't mean to, by the way, whoever it is that I'm talking to, whoever is this is giving you this, they don't understand. They're not meaning to make you feel like something's wrong. So just give them some grace and try to explain. The frequency of the crown chakra, the violet flower of life, supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light. This is why... I do the daily meditations, and this is why it is so important to focus and clear that crown chakra. It's your gateway. It's the highest chakra next to your soul star, which is where you, your essence is in the ether, okay, where your soul is anchored. So you can transmute all negativity as you allow yourself to meditate and let that energy move through the filters. This one's a really good one for manifesting a job. I am totally open and receptive to a wonderful new position using my creative talents and abilities working for and with people I love in a wonderful location and earning good money. Now, you notice how this is structured. I am totally open and receptive, right? And it talks about a new position, not your not your qualifications on your diploma or certif certifications. It says my creative talents and abilities working for and with people I love in a wonderful location and earning good money. There's no restrictive parameters on that. This is how you manifest. Wide open energy. Don't put restrictions on it and allow the universe to move. Don't worry the universe knows what your thing is. That's why it brought you here to this realm so that you can put yourself into that energy. I now create a wonderful new job. You don't have to worry if the universe knows what you're after. It does. 
I am totally open and receptive to a wonderful new position using my creative talents and abilities, working for and with people I love in a wonderful location and earning good money. I now create a wonderful new job. So whatever that is for you, so it is. Snap the fingers three times and, and it is agreed. I flow freely and lovingly with life. I love myself and know that only good awaits me at every turn. I let go of all expectation. I flow freely and lovingly with life. I love myself and I know that only good awaits me at every turn. I let go of all expectations. So it's not talking about the expectations for success. It's not talking about that. It's talking about letting go of how it's going to happen. The universe has that part. They got the details, don't worry. So this is the judgment card, and typically this is the Archangel Gabriel blowing a horn. It's a resurrection energy. This is something from the past now coming into the present. Now, it doesn't have to be the exact same person, place, or thing. It can be something very similar at a new location or a different, you know, like if you've got hired on at a job or thought you were going to get the job because the interview went really well and then you never heard a peep and then you get an email saying, well, we've hired someone and it isn't you. <laughs> this may be another opportunity very similar to it or that exact one. It can be a job. It can be a person. It can be a, a thing. I've had people f find things that were lost or have items returned. One lady had a uh, her wedding ring and several other pieces of jewelry were stolen. She was in her 90s. And she said, well, nobody nobody from my past is going to return because they're all dead. I've outlived them all. And we had a good chuckle. And then she emailed me about a week later and said she had been contacted. They had found her wedding ring because it had a special engraving in it. And she got it back. How about that? They were clearing out some old evidence from some old stuff. And she ended up getting her ring back. So... Nine of Wands is the energy of being very much in a place of feeling like you're up against a wall, but you're not. This is the last piece of the puzzle before the breakthrough, so stand there very strongly without budging because you're about to have the movement forward. This is telling you that, again, reinforcing it. And there's the clarity you need, the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords comes in and cuts through all the stuff that's been blocking your ability to see forward or the next steps. The fog is lifted, and you now have a clear runway for you to move forward. So there's the breakthrough moment for you. Many blessings to you, my dear friends. If you'd like to have an extra little boost throughout the week, you can check out my podcast, Royal Mystic Collective Wisdom. It's available on all podcast platforms. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Love, light, and abundance to you, my friends. Namaste.